I have a question. Why, but why do you need a title policy? Why, need, why do you need to acquire the title and why, is it just to get title insurance? That's the only reason? Yeah, that's really the only reason. If you're gonna sell it, or you wanna get the fullest protection possible, but um, when you do your title report and you, uh, you look at the notifications, you're already gonna know everything. You're already gonna know that everything's wiped, and if nothing is wiped, then you can attack it on the front end. So the only, the only reason you would, you would need to quiet the title or go to title, tax title service would be if you wanted to sell it. If you want to sell it with clear title or you want to get a loan. So a lot of people, oh, you know, so if they buy loan. one property, they want to get a loan. No one's going to give you a loan without clear title. Right. And so for some people, they don't want to hold on to something for a year. So in that case, you hire the real estate attorney. Like if you buy a property that's worth 300K yeah. and you want to take a loan out against it, your best bet is to pay the 2K so we're two and a half with tax title services, get clear title so that you can then take that loan out right. and get your money cycled, especially if you want to rent it. But if you bought it really cheap and you're renting it and you're in no rush to sell it, um, you could then just uh, just wait. Okay. But let's say you do check, you're in a state where they're prone to make mistakes, AKA Texas. Okay. And uh, one, of the, one of the people that was maybe in the will who now has the property, um, or sorry, someone in the will was not uh, notified, you could then attack that head on. Okay. Just get that cleared up. Okay. Or if there was a bank, a lien holder that wasn't notified, you could get on the front end of that, or hope that it just falls off, but um, that's hard to know. And whether you just wait and wait it out or uh, go to the uh, real estate attorney, either way it takes about a month. Oh. That deep, deep. Yeah, well, however long it takes the county to get that to you, it could be a couple of weeks, could be a month, and even though it, it should be a month, then it, it could even be longer. Okay. You know how they are sometimes. <laughs> Holy smokes, look at this. Yes. Okay. They were very helpful today. Yeah, they were really helpful. But yeah, so you don't know, and I mean, you can always sell something as is too. You don't have to get, um, you don't have to get clear title. So the warranty deed, is that someone who's gotten clear title and then sold it, or how does that work? Yeah, so when they have a warranty deed, that is a guarantee. That's like a warranty when you have a, a warranty with your guitar. Yeah, yeah. So if my guitar breaks, they're going to replace it. So if something, if someone comes after me, yeah. a lien holder says, hey, uh, I'm on like I'm on this property, or I, you owe me something, Yeah. you know, then your warranty deed, like they're going to step in and they're going to protect you. So how do you get a warrant? Like who who issues the warranty? Does the county issue that? No, no, no. That would be with a, a title company. Oh, uh, okay.